right, uh, Mr. Whalen, I think we can start. Okay, so good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Mandeville, and I am one of the ninth grade assistant principals. I will support ninth grader scholars with last names starting from A to L. On behalf of Dr. Mari, the school's ever supportive principal who can't be with us today, the entire school administration and staff would like to welcome you all to a great school year. Welcome to the Wildcat family's new members. Northwestern is a state champ school, and we all know that the Wildcats run. In this school year, we will continue to provide quality instructions and safe school environment. Next slide, please. So in this meeting, we are going, or we will be introducing the, the staff, the counselors, the coordinator for the ninth grade academy, we will discuss the uniform ID hallway and field expectations and consequences. We will also be discussing the grade, some grade level concerns such as the new student orient, orientation, which will happen tomorrow. And lastly, um, second to the last I mean, we'll, uh, we'll be discussing the expectations from parents and we will culminate this meeting by answering your questions. So this is Dr. Mary. She's the school principal. That is her email address. And that is also her phone number. Next slide, please, Ms. Cox. Go ahead, Mr. Hammond. Hi, everyone. My name is Casey Hammond. Uh, I'm one of the ninth grade administrators with Dr. Mendeville with the last names M through Z. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Larry McCray. I will be the 10th grade counselor uh, this year. Um, I'd like to welcome all to Northwest. Good morning, parents. Welcome back. My name is Patricia Cox, assistant principal for D 11th grade class. Uh, I am here to support you, support your child to be educated and get a quality instruction. Please don't hesitate and email me, even if I'm not your child's uh, administrator. I shouldn't be saying it, right? Even if I'm not your child's administrator, please reach out and we're here, here to help and make your child have a successful school year. Thank you so much. Hey, good morning, everybody. I am the 12th grade administrator here at Northwestern. It's my second year. Uh, you can see that I have a golden moment from our puppet uh, workshop that we shared on social media. I'm looking forward to many golden moments in our senior year here. Good morning, parents, and good morning, every step stakeholder present here. I'm Pity Zelanovo or Mr. Pity. I'm the administrator for all of our students who receive special education services. Uh, just as my colleague, Mrs. Cox said, I'm here for all students, whether the student has an IEP or not. We are a family, we work together. Thank you very much. Mr. Reed is our ninth grade academy coordinator. Um, he's also assistant with the ninth grade academy as well. Good morning, Wildcat family. I am Miss Erica Durr. I am one of the ninth grade school counselors this year, and I will be working with caseloads, last names A through L, but I am open to all ninth graders as well as 10, 11, and 12 if you have any questions. Good morning, everyone. I'm Cheryl Anderson, and I'm ninth grade counselor, last names M through Z. I'm excited to be here this year. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rocio Hernandez, and I am the sole counselor for ninth through 12th grade.
And parents, as you know, we have vacancies in our school system. We're currently waiting on the clearance for our 10th grade council to join us. So that information is coming soon. Thank you so much. Good morning, parents. I, my name is Roxanne France Woods, and I'm the, one of the 10th grade counselors. I'm A through L. Correction, 11th grade. I'm sorry, 11th grade. Woo. Wonderful morning, everyone. My name is Joycelyn Austin Sam, and I'm happy to be back serving the 11th graders this year. Under the um, supervision of uh, Mrs. Cox. Good morning on behalf of our senior counselors, Mr. Barton and Ms. Armbrister. I'm not sure if there's many in the meeting right now, but they are working on schedules. So uh, please excuse their absence. They're here to serve you and you can see their last name assignments and contact information. Good morning once again. So this year, uniforms, we will continue to uh, utilize the white polo shirts and navy blue pants or skirts of appropriate length. Students may wear sweaters. However, hooded sweatshirts should only be worn when going outside. We expect that all students will have and wear a student ID. Uh, they will be distributed the first week of class. Um, and they must, as I said, must be worn at all times. Students who lose their IDs will be charged a $5 fee, which will be an obligation for replacement. All right, good morning again, everybody. So uh, for uniform and ID violations and uh, Consequences for students who are missing class will include this year home contacts, one page reflections, before school detentions, Saturday detentions, in school suspensions, and short term suspensions. We really need your support. So please make sure the students are compliant with the uniform and the ID policy, that they're making it to every class so that we don't have to bother you with participating in these consequences. But we will. Um, have an orderly and safe school year. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everyone. We're now going to transition to speak about the new student new student orientation, which is taking place tomorrow, Friday. Um, the purpose of the new student orientation is to understand the academic sequence between the basically the transition between middle and high school for our ninth grade students, understanding the difference between academic and extracurricular offerings. Um, know how their academic choices made in high school can affect options in the future, and familiarize students with the school building and staff. And then this is what our schedule is going to look like for the new student orientation tomorrow. So it'll begin at eight o'clock in the morning um, with breakfast in the cafeteria. We'll then transition to the auditorium. We have a nice little opening program where we have some of the uh, visual and performing arts students performing. Um, hopefully the band, a couple other performances that we'll see. And then students will transition through their 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A classes. So tomorrow is a half day. You see it ends at 12 o'clock. Um, there will be a grab and go lunch at 12 o'clock. And um, students will only be going through their A day schedule, which we will be able to help them out with tomorrow. There is also no fifth period, no VPA tomorrow. Mr. Hammond, before you continue, Hey, Ms. Cox, can you please go back to, your, to the uniform slide first? And can we maybe request Ms. Hernandez to please explain this again in, in Spanish? Yes, I'll do that. Okay, Hola a todos. Este, estamos en la presentación ahorita. Disculpe que no pudimos um, tradu traducir desde el principio de la presentación, um, pero queríamos explicarles sobre los uniformes. 
El uniforme que ustedes tienen, los estudiantes tienen que usar es una camiseta este, blanca con pantalones azules. Y pueden ver en la foto ahí cómo se mira. Um, tienen que usar, este, si necesitan usar suéteres, um, pueden usar suéteres um, cuando van a, este, pueden usar suéteres, pero sin este, los, los que tienen las, uh, los son, perdón, ¿cómo se dice eso en español? <risa> este, las, las gorras como la que... Um, que viene conectada con el suéter, solamente para usarlas para afuera. Los otros suéteres pueden usarlos, pero no tienen que tener el gorro. You can move on to the next slide. All right, in order to prepare for the student orientation day, day which again is tomorrow, Friday, um, we ask that you print the student schedule or at least have it accessible on their device, if possible. Um, in order to receive updates from the ninth grade academy team, that's what NGA stands for, ninth grade academy, um, please join the class of 2026 Remind app, which there is a link there. Um, we did share the presentation and I can share it again in the chat in just a few minutes. Um, so that way you have the link. Um, and then we have a ninth grade Google Classroom and the code is that 23AWECC, which again will be in the presentation that can be shared in just a few minutes. Um, and we are gonna have this information available for the ninth grade students as well. So they'll have it tomorrow to join all of these various items. Para, para prepararse para el día de orientación, este, los estudiantes, um, es recomendado que los estudiantes accesen su este, horario en Schoolmax. Ellos pueden entrar y ver el horario ahí. Este, van a recibir este, notificaciones en, por una aplicación que se llama Remind, la pueden bajar y hacerse a miembros de la clase. Ahí está el código donde ustedes pueden este, entrar a la clase y hay notificaciones, este, anuncios que se le va a hacer a, lo, a, las, a los estudiantes en nueve. You can go on to the next slide. Mr. Hernandez, can you uh, explain this also? Like yes. And then the next slide too. Okay, otra cosa importante que deben de saber es que um, en la escuela se usa identificación de estudiantes y tienen que, y los van a distribuir la primera semana de clases. Tienen que usarlas todo el tiempo durante todo el día de escolar. Este, personas que han perdido su ID, este, les van a cobrar cinco dólares para reemplazar el ID. Mr. Hernandez, this is in regards to consequence if, if students, students okay. choose not to follow. Okay, las consecuencias, digamos, si ustedes no, los estudiantes no pueden este, utilizar la, el uniforme o el ID, este, se van a hacer comunicarse con ustedes, um, los padres en casa, les van a, a, también pueden, van a poder escribir una reflexión, on, una página donde reflexionan por qué no siguieron las reglas y todo eso. También este, hay detención antes de la escuela, hay detención los sábados y también hay este, suspensión en la escuela y también afuera de la escuela. This one's a Ms. Hernandez. Okay. El propósito de la orientación es para que entiendan la a secuencia académica de los eh, estudiantes que vienen de la escuela este, de middle school, que es la escuela secundaria de, y para aquí ya la este, high school. Eh, tienen que entender la diferencia de académica y también en las cosas que se ofrecen eh, después de escuela, los deportes, actividades y todo eso. Eh, además de eso, también este, tienen la aprenden como que tienen el, este, la opción de aprender las cosas académicas aquí en la escuela, pero también cuáles son las opciones después de, de high school. También familiarizarse con eh, los maestros, la, las personas que trabajan en la escuela y también el edificio. Este es el horario que se va a utilizar mañana, viernes, agosto 26, para que los estudiantes tienen que seguir y cómo transicionarse de cada clase, para que ellos entiendan um, cómo va, es un horario aquí en la escuela. Y pueden ver que van a tener este, las clases y el lonche y todo eso. 
you can move on. All right, Mr. Hernandez, can you clear up one more thing? I think there was a question in the chat about if 11th graders need to come tomorrow. Can you just clear up that it's for new students? Yes, solo los nuevos estudiantes vienen mañana, que son los no, primera vez en el 9. Estudiantes que vienen de la escuela este, de middle school. Entonces, um, no tienen que venir los del 11 ni los, ni los del otro, ni otro grado. Ms. Dark, can you please explain this slide and the following slide? Absolutely. So um, for our rising ninth graders, we have, we go on credit system, please excuse me. We go on a credit system. So now that they are in high school, students earn credits for classes that they pass each year um, and they will not move on to other classes until they pass these classes. So by the end of this upcoming school year, your child will need to at least earn five credits and two of those credits have to be English 9 and Algebra 1. So if your child does not receive those five credits or receives five, six, or seven credits, but does not pass English 9 or Algebra 1, then they will not be promoted to 10th grade. Okay, for the class of 2026, these are the credits that are recommended for graduation. Um, each student will take four years of English and math, and two of those math classes have to be algebra and geometry. They will take three sciences. They will earn three social studies, including US history, government, and world history. They will take at least one fine art credit, which can include art, dance, um, music, guitar. Um, those are some examples of our fine arts. They will have to have a half a credit of personal fitness and one full credit of health. They will have to have a half of credit of financial literacy, a full credit of foundations of technology, two elective credits, and they will also have to have a completer. And a completer could be two years of the same language, or they can participate in any of our CTE programs, career and technology education programs. And this can include our NJROTC, um, Business Academy, Child Development, Project Lead the Way, or our um, College and Career Readiness Program. I also want to mention, and this is very important parents, um, 24 hours of community services required for every student for graduation. It is very important that they start early so they're not waiting until the last minute to get 24 hours of service. These hours can be completed um, in the community. The school will also offer community service um, opportunities. We will all we will always be putting um, opportunities in the Google Classroom. Um, they can earn them at their church, at the library, at a food bank. Um, it's up to them. It is. There's no specific place in which these hours have to be completed. Mr. Pitti? Ms. Hernandez, did you want uh, to? <laughs> yeah, I thought there was going to be interpretation. Yes. Um, okay, para ser promovidos para el uh, grado 10, los estudiantes tienen que recibir cinco créditos que incluyen la clase de inglés y álgebra 1. Quiere decir que los estudiantes no pueden pasar el grado si no reciben esos créditos que incluyen la clase de inglés y también de matemáticas. Para graduarse necesitan completar 22 créditos, 4 créditos de inglés, 4 créditos de matemática, que incluyen álgebra 1, geometría y 2 créditos adicionales de matemáticas, 3 créditos de ciencia que incluyen biología, 3 créditos de estudios sociales que es historia de los Estados Unidos, a la clase de gobierno y historia mundial, un crédito de arte, 
mitad de crédito de educación física, mitad de crédito de, uh, un crédito de salud, perdón, mitad crédito de literatura de finanzas, un crédito de tecnología, dos clases electivas y un programa completador que pueden ser dos clases de un lenguaje que sea el mismo lenguaje. Entonces, si comienzan a tomar español, tienen, tomar español, tienen que tomar este español el siguiente año también. El programa de, este, de CTE, que es de eh, un programa de tecnología, programa de uh, NJROTC, que son clases militares, un programa que se hace para, um, para cuatro años y reciben ese crédito, o pueden ser parte de la Academia de Negocios, Desarrollo de Niños, este, el programa de ingeniería y, y también un programa de, este, de colegio. Next slide. All right. Um, we want to look at expectations from parents. These are the expectations that Northwestern High School and it, indeed Prince George's County Public Schools have for from for parents. And we know that for students to be successful, there has to be that uh, relationship between the school and home. Uh, our first expectation is that parents uh, or guidance will access school marks. Uh, school marks is where you can review the grades, the attendance uh, reports, and any outstanding assignments. So sometimes students don't submit assignments. And on school marks, guidance and parents are able to see that, hey, this assignment hasn't been submitted, uh, or this assignment you got a zero, could we look at communicating with the teacher to see if you can redo it. We also expect um, our parents and guidance to communicate with our counselors, classroom teachers, the ninth grade academy coordinator, and or the assistant principal. Uh, so that constant communication to support our students. We also request you, if possible, to have daily positive messaging with your child. Uh, it could be via narrative, texting, or emailing, just telling them what a great day is going to be, that they should do what they're expected to do, and just giving them those positive uh, reinforcement. Check your child's planner, their device, and or paper contracts. And also, please respond to any emails or phone calls or any request from teachers or administration regarding your child. Thank you very much. Over to you, Ms. Hernandez. Okay. Estas son las expectativas para los padres. Por favor, recuerden lo siguiente. Que tengan acceso al, al portal familiar de Schoolmax, donde ustedes pueden chequear las calificaciones, los reportes de asistencia y ver cómo ellos están haciendo en su trabajo que entregan. Este, es importante que tengan comunicación con los consejeros, los maestros, eh, el coordinador del grado 9 y también el administrador principal de, del grado, que son este, el señor Hemmend y el doctor Mendobo. Este, también, si es posible que, po, que provean este, mensajes positivos para sus, este, para sus estudiantes, también que se comuniquen con ellos, que les den ese, eh, consejos, afirmaciones positivas para que ellos puedan seguir este, estudiando y sean este exitosos. Por favor, chequen sus, este, si ellos tienen planificador, este, que chequeen su planificador, chequen sus teléfonos si usan para su teléfono para planificar y cualquier otra cosa que ellos tengan para que ustedes vean que estén haciendo lo que tengan que hacer en las clases. Por favor, este, provean, este, una respuesta inmediata cuando reciba correos o comunicación de los maestros o de los administradores de sus hijos y hijas. Next slide. Ms. Cox, can you please go back to slide number four first? So as mentioned by Ms. Cox, we, you know, the entire Wildcats family are here to support all of our students, but I want to give uh, the parents and the scholars again chance to maybe take a picture or copy the email address of their um, administrator and counselor. So if you have question, you can you know, direct the question to your administrator or counselor. C can you say it? Thank you, Ms. Hernan. 
Regresamos a la página donde están los administradores, el doctor Mendevo y el señor Hammond, que ellos son los administradores del grado 9. Aunque sí anunciamos que todos están disponibles para ayudarles, pero sí hay una mayor, un énfasis en estos dos administradores si su estudiante está en el 9. Estas son las personas que ustedes pueden comunicarse con primeramente. Ahí está el correo electrónico y si su hijo tiene del apellido de A a L es el señor Mendevo y si es, tiene el M a Z es el señor Hammond. Sí, entonces, por favor, tomen una foto y tengan esta información para que ustedes se puedan comunicar con ellos. Next slide, please, Ms. Cox. And tell uh, Ms. Hernandez, if you could tell the parents that, especially the ninth graders, that if they have a um, question about schedule, they can email our wonderful ninth grade counselors, A to L, Ms. Durr, and M to Z, Ms. Anderson. Y la siguiente, esta es la foto de, los, de las consejeras del grado 9. Está la señora Durr, que ella um, atiende a los estudiantes de apellido A, A y L, y está Ms. Anderson, que atiende a los de apellido M a Z. Ahí está el correo electrónico de ellas. Si ustedes tienen preguntas sobre horario o cualquier otra cosa um, de su estudiante, pueden comunicarse con ellas. Next slide, please, Ms. Cox. Next slide, please, Ms. Cox. All right. This one, Ms. Hernandez. También si este, quieren comunicarse con los consejeros del 11, está la señora Franswoods y la señora Austin Sam, que Ms. Franswoods atiende a los estudiantes de AL y Ms. Austin de M a Z. También ahí está su correo electrónico. Tómenme fotos si su estudiante está en el 11. Los consejeros del 12 están acá, que es el señor um, Barton, M. A. Z. y Ms. Armbruster de A. L. And for the 10th graders, they can email Dr. McRae. Y por ahorita, para los estudiantes del 10, pueden comunicarse con el señor, el Dr. McRae, y ahí está el correo electrónico. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Cox. We can go to... All right, Walcott's family, I just want to remind everyone that to know the rights and responsibilities of our scholars, please, when you get this presentation, click this link and then review the rights and responsibilities. Next slide, please, Ms. Cox. No, Ms. Cuando, te, cuando re, te, te tengan su tiempo, por favor, revisen el libro de Derechos y Responsabilidades de los Estudiantes. Este, el link va a estar o el enlace va a estar disponible en la página de la escuela y pueden leerlo y ahí pueden encontrar más información de cómo el, de los derechos y responsabilidades de los estudiantes. And there is a question here. Can, can you all talk about the ID again? Ms. Scott, can you please go back to that slide? All right, go ahead, Ms. Hernandez. Okay, uh, este, hay una pregunta sobre la identificación. Um, no sé si este, había preguntas sobre eso. Pero repetiré la información de nuevo. La ID es, lo tienen que usar todos los días sin, sin excepciones. Eh, es una manera de identificar los estudiantes y también mantenerlos este, seguros. Sabemos que si... Tienen su ID, sabemos que son estudiantes de la escuela. Si necesitan reemplazar el ID, son cinco dólares eh, y les dan un nuevo ID. All right, thank you, Ms. Cox. I can, and we can now open the floor to the Q&A.
Mr. Hammond, what are the questions that you? We've, we've pretty much covered everything as it's come up. Um, there's one question about overcrowding on school buses. I don't think that we can speak to that. And just probably uh, to, 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 to respond to parents, uh, transportation departments handles the transportation and the buses. They are not handled by individual schools. Thank you. And the school system, especially the Department of Transportation is doing everything to provide transportation to all of our scholars. But uh, if, if you parents receive the memo from the transportation office, if you registered your scholar on or before August 10, you should be able to receive the transportation card. But if you registered your scholar beyond August 10, you will have to go to the PGCPS website, go to the transportation and search for a bus stop that, that is closest to your address. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Hammond. A couple other questions came up. Um, there is no VPA tomorrow. Does that mean that freshmen in the VPA program should not attend tomorrow? There will be no fifth period, but the VPA students need to attend um, the, the student orientation. They will, they will not just go to their fifth period. Yep. Yeah. So the day will end at 12 o'clock for everybody. Um, another question is what should we expect for time needed in terms of dropping off students? Like how bad does traffic usually get? Can I clarify the VPA question for the VPA parent? Um, just because there's not a fifth period doesn't mean there's not a VPA class during the class day. Because students also have VPA classes that are in their um, four, first four blocks. Okay, so the next question was um, basically how bad does traffic get and how much time should people expect for students to drop or for parents to drop off students? Traffic is about in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, I was typing in the chat. I was trying to multitask. Yes, um, Scott J asked that question. Please plan ahead. The drop off is crowded. Please, please allow yourself 20 additional minutes if you need to go to work or whatever uh, location you need to travel to. The afternoon, the first week is very hectic. So please use your patience and plan accordingly. The traffic is heavy. Yes. There was another awesome. question about um, if you're locked out of school max. I dropped the email address. You're going to send an email to Ms. Jacqueline Gilbert. She will assist you or your student getting access to it, okay? All right, Dr. Minimal, go ahead. And I just want to add, Ms. Cox, that all students will be allowed to enter the building at exactly 8 o'clock. Um, next question was, are students wearing uniforms tomorrow? Yes, students need to wear uniforms tomorrow as well as every school day. Um, the next question, maybe someone else can chime in for this. How do I get my student's laptop? So a student doesn't have a PGCPS device. How do they go about getting it or who do they contact? I think there are two parts to that question. The first question is, is the student coming from Miku school? Uh, if so, most students will, will, will transition with their laptops to, 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 to high school. If if it's their first time in PG, with PGCPS, uh, we have uh, our own technician here at Northwestern. Uh, they are going to check on the records. So if your child had a laptop at Miku School and probably it got lost or something, they will be expected to pay for it. Um, as for the question of the charger, uh, I'll let the technician speak for himself. But again, if the charger was uh, defaced or something, 
there are also charges sometimes to those equipment, but uh, that's not a definite position. They look at the factors and what had happened and when the Chromebook itself was issued to a student. Okay, we had another question in Spanish that was um, regarding will buses pick up students tomorrow or the, do they have to get dropped off? Okay, este, la persona que preguntó sobre los buses, mañana no van a pasar los buses para recoger, para la orientación. Tienen que venir a dejar a los estudiantes. Yeah, transportation will be provided. Breakfast will be provided and lunch will be provided also. He said transportation will be provided. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Disculpen si van a estar la transportación mañana. Este, entonces, si van a poder eh, ir a la parada del bus y esperar ahí. Except for the walkers. Except, excepto las personas que normalmente van a caminar a la escuela. Si caminan, no van a recibir transportación mañana. Can I jump in? I see questions about schedules um, and students not being able to see them. If you log into School Max and it says you do not have access, then you have more than likely been withdrawn. And if you have been withdrawn, that means you need to provide the appropriate residency documentation to be re-enrolled. You will not have a schedule until you are re-enrolled into school max. And for the VPA parents, I know that a lot have um, begun to um, re-enroll or have been re-enrolled. We will be working on schedules all day today. So by the morning, you guys, or by this evening, you guys will be able to view your schedule if you cannot view it yet. And can you stress out, Ms. Hernandez, the importance of submitting the right documentation, like the requirement for graduation? Sí, entonces una de las cosas más importantes es que ustedes, eh, si no tienen acceso a los horarios de su estudiante en Schoolmax, es porque quizás um, les han dado de baja o le han bajado la matrícula, quiere decir que tienen que registrarse de nuevo a la escuela y proveer los documentos necesarios para que estén en la escuela matriculado. Este, entonces, y pueden hacer eso llamando a la escuela en, y nada más. Si, si no son del 9, este, es importante que también pongan esa documentación en el sistema porque ya me imagino que algunos están en el 11, en el 2 y todo eso, entonces es importante para que se puedan graduar y no pierdan este tiempo de no estar en la escuela y todo eso. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez. And again, if you did not submit the correct documentation, the, the registration process will be affected. It will not be complete. Go ahead, Mr. Hammond. Okay, the next question. Um... Ms. Cox, can you share the slide with the schedule for the orientation tomorrow? Um, somebody asked of what the schedule is for tomorrow. So they're starting at eight o'clock and the day ends at 12 o'clock. Um, we're working on sharing the screen in just a second here so everyone can see it. Okay, I'm gonna have to look for it. I don't think I have that schedule. Did you share it with us already? It's on the slides. It's slide 19. There we go. So this is the schedule for the orientation for tomorrow. So drop off time, students can enter the building at eight o'clock. Um, you may wanna get here, like we said a little bit before then, cause it traffic does back up. And then the day ends at 12 o'clock PM. Okay, um, a parent is asking, um, she says her bus arrives at 8.18. Um, so she will be late. If is that an issue or that's fine because the class normally starts at 8 30. So if the bus, you know, bus will arrive before like the first period. So 
Entonces, si um, para la señora Gloria que dice que el bus llega a, la 8 y 18, a las 8 y 18, no hay mucho problema porque las clases no empiezan hasta las 8 y media. Um, es normalmente, este, puede que llegue a tiempo. Um, sí. eh, como sabe que hay una co, este, pocos este, buses ahorita y hay problemas de eso de buses, entonces no hay mucho que se pueda hacer más que um, ven, venirse en el bus y si llega un poquito tarde no hay mucho de problema. Yeah, and, and just remind your child to go straight to the cafeteria so he or she can eat, you know, breakfast before going to the first period class. Y cuando llegue este, a la escuela, el estudiante tiene que ir directamente a la, a la cafetería para agarrar, agarrar desayuno y después directo a clase. Um, then one question that has come up a couple times is after school, I guess, clubs and programs for students. Um, can someone kind of talk about those things and when and where students can get information about that stuff? We do have different programs that meet um, after school. We will find out more information about which clubs will meet on which days. Um, we also have athletics. So um, all that information will be provided during a school day. So if you have any questions, you are welcome to ask your counselors. Um, and if we have, if you're interested in sports, we can direct you in the right direction as well. I was also... If I could also add, um, some of the coaches from the different sports and activities will be on hand in between classes um, to pass out information about joining um, football, volleyball, and soccer are all um, currently happening this fall. And in addition, all of the uh, after school activities will be discussed during the grade level assembly. So we'll be having assembly, you know, after I think the second week of the school year, and all of these activities will be discussed during that assembly. Okay, another question. Um, do the students have buses tomorrow? Yes, buses will be running tomorrow. Lunches are not free this year. Um, you will have to fill out the uh, application if you to see if you qualify for free or reduced lunch. And that's an online application. Go ahead, Mr. Hammond. As of right now, we're all caught up on questions. The 10th grade scheduling question, you're welcome to email me and um, I can help you with that. And the cheerleading question, we will let you know shortly about the cheerleading. My daughter has learned her book by this name. She's got to be watched. Do I bring my life? Uh, the next question is about our buses running out of boundary for VPA students tomorrow. I will ask Ms. Lowry, the, is Ms. Lowry on call? No. So this is what I am going to do. I will ask Ms. Lowry about the VPA buses tomorrow. And if you could please check the school's website for this information. Can you take a note of that, Mr. Hammond, please, to um, ask Ms. Lowry about the buses? But definitely, uh, you know, you'll get a bus. You'll get a transportation. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so that will mean even in the morning. 
Dogger. As of right now, we're caught up on all questions. All right, I, I just found the answer about the VPA buses. <laughs> I just called Miss Larry. Hello. So uh, Miss Larry says uh, the VPA buses will be picking students tomorrow in the morning and will be bringing them at 12. They just won't be late buses. So to Miss uh, to Kaito Panguti's question about uh, VPA boundary students, there will be buses tomorrow, and the students will be brought immediately after school. They just won't have a fifth period. All right. Next question in the chat: If uh... Somebody has a letter for free or reduced lunch. Should they bring it into the school? Is that approval from the application? I'm not sure. Maybe we can get some more clarification in the chat. Well, what's the question, Mr. Hammond? Mr. She said yes. If, if they qualify for free and reduced lunch, we already have it on our side. So no, no need to provide a letter. Thank you, Ms. Dar. I invited Ms. Lowry, the VPA coordinate, coordinator. She will be joining shortly. Okay, as of right now, we're caught up on all questions in the chat. If anything else comes up, please place it in the chat so we can answer it for you. Or if you, for example, have questions after this meeting, just send an email to any one of us. Ms. Hernandez, do you think you could say that in Spanish just to place any questions in the chat if there are any? Si tienen preguntas, por favor, pónganlo en el, en el chat, por favor, um, para que nosotros podamos responder. All right. Uh, Mr. Maybe you could weigh in on this question. If your student was enrolled late, when will they receive their schedule? We're working through. We had a lot of students who were enrolled at the same time. So we're working through those schedules now, um, but they will be able to view their schedules by this evening. Señora Claudia, sobre su hija y la inscripción, este, lo dudo en realidad que se registre hoy, entonces no creo que pueda venir a orientación mañana, porque necesita hacer por cita. Señora Noelia, sobre el bus, este, puede venir ella aunque venga tarde, este, no hay problema. Thank you. There's another question. Will students get their schedule tomorrow at orientation? We're asking that, that students check their SchoolMax account tonight um, to have their schedule available. There will be no printed schedules tomorrow at orientation. So we're asking that students either have a printed copy or a copy on their device if that's possible. Um, another question in the chat, when will students that are new to PGCPS or do not have a Chromebook already, when will they be available to get a new Chromebook? Uh, our tech uh, person issues us 
Chromebooks is going to be here on Monday, uh, August the 28th. In short, we won't be able to give students Chromebooks tomorrow, but we expect them to. Ah, uh, señor Claudia, le respondí. Si no le están contestando, puede intentar venir en persona para hacer la cita. Pero sé que si viene en persona hoy, no, no va a hacer la registración hoy. No que va a venir a hacer la otro día con la cita. Mm -hmm. Once again, parents, everyone, if you don't have any questions or if you will, if you have an unanswered questions, don't hesitate to email any one of us. Yes, and Dr. Minerva, I just want to um, restate that if your child has been withdrawn, if they cannot access their schedule, that means they are not a student at Northwestern High School at this time. So please do not send your student if they are not enrolled. Can you say that in Spanish, uh, translate that, Ms. Hernandez, because that's very important. Este, un recordatorio, si su estudiante no está registrado, no está matriculado, por favor no lo manden mañana a la escuela porque no va a poder participar en la orientación. Thank you, Ms. Hernandez, and thank you all so much for attending this meeting. Um, one last question was, do we know when students will get their ID pictures taken? Um, I believe that it'll be in the first few weeks of school. Life Touch will be here, um, but all returning students will get their IDs on the first day of school. All right, I guess all the questions were answered. So again, we would like to say thank you to everyone. Oh, you know, what if you didn't get your ID last year? You'll get a fresh one. Everybody will get a fresh ID this year. Our Chromebooks needed tomorrow. I think they're needed every day is, would be my answer. But uh, most of the focus tomorrow for most teachers will be uh, our expectations and our norms. So we don't really expect students to submit assignments tomorrow as it were. And most of that will be uh, uh, projected, uh, you know, to our smartphones or whatever. So it's not a big, uh, especially to iPhone, uh, we'll, we'll pose the question, if your child doesn't have a Chromebook tomorrow, let them come to school. They won't uh, 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 be expected to have one. Excuse me, I have a question. Do we resign the, the lunches of the free lunch since you already been in the school for last year? You have to, you have to fill it out, complete it every year. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Um, I think we're going to shut down the meeting. We're not seeing any more questions come through. Last question, what if I can't see your schedule for this year, but you were here last year? Um, I would, I think, Mr. I would say check school max this evening. Schedule should be actively updated throughout the day. Yes, that's, and if you have a question, you're welcome to email me. Elaine, you have a, you have a full schedule, sweetheart. An upper class man, you know, you if you know your counselor, email your counselor for any scheduled questions.
All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye bye. All right. Who? Um... Just want to say hi, guys. Hello. Hey, Miss Lynn. Hi, guys. Sorry, I didn't want to bombard it, but I no. had to say hi. Hey, you guys. should definitely introduce yourself and what you offer to the school. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, let me do this quickly. So for those of you who do not know me and who do know me, uh, my name is Miss Lynn. I am one of the, oh, not the one, I am the only educational specialist at uh, from the University of Maryland called Educational Talent Search Program. Some of you guys may know me um, at the school. Some of you may not. So just to say that I am one of the college prep counselors here at your school on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you guys can find me in the media center uh, at the start of third period to the end of the school day. Uh, I'm just going to drop my uh, email address along with the school, the website to town search. And then if you guys have any questions, you're free to join parents and students. If you are not in town search, I highly recommend joining the program for two reasons. One, you're going to be with me. Two, if you are a student who is interested in making sure that you take care of all the academic opportunities at your high school, along with the program, summer programs that we have going on. Um, and also three is that if you join, you'll get a free book bag. And I think most of our teachers got their free book bags last year. If you did not, I will make sure you will be taken care of this school year. Uh, but other than that, um, I didn't want to hijack this, but I want great to see you guys. I'm looking forward to a good school year. All right. Who, Mr. Whalen, you can now, you know, close the meeting. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day.